Hi there, my name is Jenna with One Beautiful Life blog and this is my prayer notebook or war binder as uh, some would reference it as. And uh, I was really inspired by this whole concept by Rachel with Pen Pal Happiness. She had did a periscope on hers and it really inspired me to do this. I watched War Room quite some time ago and it uh, has been something that's been in my heart and in my life that I've been trying to put together some sort of war room. I really don't have this space and just uh, this seems to have been the perfect match. So I'm thankful to have stumbled across it. Stone Soup for Five is another uh, blog that I used for some inspiration on this. And then uh, reading the book Fervent by Priscilla Shire or listening to the book, the audiobook uh, Fervent by Priscilla Shire. Uh, really inspired a lot on here. So to get started, this is a half sheet binder I got from Target. Uh, I am head over heels in love with the pattern. There was only one available and just feel like God perfectly designed it for me for this binder. So if you like it, uh, I would check out Target for it, but hope that you find the perfect binder that inspires you to use this. Um, this is uh, t really where we get started and takes me about 30 minutes. I did add one more section. So I'm at, at about 32 and a half minutes, but uh, who knows where that will end up if something will be removed or, or will stay or go, but around 30. And I have to say the full 30 minutes is uh, surprising to me that I'm almost wanting and desiring more time. So uh, who knows where that will end up, like I mentioned, but uh, so we get started here. This um, is the first section. I didn't choose to do a uh, sticky note section in the beginning uh, like she mentions I just am a out of space um, and BM normally have sticky notes near me all day so I'll maybe put sticky notes here and stick them in the front cover I also keep a little notebook for any ideas that come to mind so that's uh, near me as well which if something comes to mind I'll, I'll put that in there compared to sticky notes so I forego those and then have this first section as uh, individual uh, these are clear sheet protectors and then I have some of my lettering as well as these uh, prayer cards that I made um, inspired by a lady who did a video on how she makes hers and um, it this is what it looks like so this is the front front side and the back sides of prayer that I put together some of these are just back to back so you don't have a prayer there and sometimes I go through all of them sometimes I just flip through and see what jumps out to me I go through the first five app uh, with Proverbs 31. So right now we're going through Hebrews and Le Leviticus. So if there's something that jumps out to me, I'll uh, put that note or write that scripture down. And the next time I make these cards, I'll do that and just add another prayer. So, um, and my lettering, I'm actually hoping to turn these into downloadable options on my blog. Um, so if you desire to put something like this into your own uh, prayer binder or uh, binder, uh, you could print those out and include those as well. Um, there was actually another blog who did that, like these, this is what they did. So that inspired me to do my own as well and, and have on my blog, which is started, just not officially launched yet. So hopefully that'll be on there soon. So let's get moving with, I have this sheet, uh, pocket thing in here with a loose leaf of paper. I could move that into notes and I should um, do that. And so I'll probably get rid of this all together, but it might be something that makes sense to include in the front if maybe you're not a sticky note uh, person or um, if you have loose notes and, and prayers or cards or anything that you want to hang on to, that's there. So the first two and a half minutes, I'll go through this and then come back to a really just put a heart on the certain day of the week. And that allows me to just really kind of take a chance to just say, Father, I'm giving you my heart for the day. Um, but then it also reveals just a way to keep track of faithfulness and consistency. That's my word for the year. So while I'm not going to be perfect in that and there's grace in that, being able to see it, I'm not a consistent person. So being able to see even this consistency last week is really exciting that I got up or the first week got up every day and only missed one day last week. So that's cool to see. So I really do like that. Um, and actually another thing that just popped into my head to include, I forgot, um, I have this candle that I also light when I get started and it has a wooden wick. So I really like this because it has a crackling noise, just that uh, symbolic thought of um, offering our prayers up to the Lord. So it also gives me a chance to, as it burns down, that's time spent in the word and in prayer. So I really like that. This is my second one since I, I've been doing this. So just wanted to mention that as I really, really like that. Okay, so we're gonna get started with where we're at. This is the first section and this was inspired by um, a lot of the other blogs and two and a half minutes in each section. The first one's gonna be rest. 
and I don't necessarily go to these points right away. Sometimes I just simply close my eyes and sit in silence and, and just truly embrace the rest. But if I'm struggling, I can have these reminders. And then if God's revealing something that through my silence, um, I'll maybe make a note of that as well. For example, the other day, God revealed that the enemy hides in the noise and it is exposed in the silence. And so just really be silent. Uh, my husband's a mechanic and, and likes to be sure our car's idle before they go anywhere. So just kind of that warming up. And I see that in prayer or make sorry, in, in silence and prayer. So being able to just uh, spend those couple, um, you know, two and a half minutes to warm up my heart. And then also time seems to slow down when we rest. And so um, I actually just fi finished the first five study in Leviticus 25, if I'm correct. And it was saying just how God gives them the uh, year of rest and how in the year of rest, they, God accomplishes three times as much as what they accomplish in a year. And so just a really amazing reminder of what God plans and intends to do in rest and that it's a blessing. Um, so just wanted to mention that. Okay. Next is Thanksgiving adoration. I am a journaler at heart and I can't help it. I feel like my heart pours out when I write. So when I seen this originally, I was hesitant because I thought I was going to miss out on that. So what I've done is simply just journal for two and a half minutes just on that topic. So for this Thanksgiving and adoration, it actually ends up being about three or four I can fit on a page. Um, then the goal with this would then be to either turn these pages, put these into their own binder and just have a binder of Thanksgiving and adoration to God of prayers for that, or maybe just combing through and taking a couple highlights and, and summarizing that somewhere. So still don't know where that will end up, but figured I could at least get a couple pages in here before I need to de determine that. Next section is going to be confession and repentance. And this gives me the chance to sit before the Lord and just be honest with where I'm at and my heart really where I've see the last you know 24 hours and seeing where in my heart it's not in line with who God is and then also just maybe looking forward to the day and just already seeing areas where my heart's struggling and confessing that so that I can lay that before the Lord and pursue what he desires over my selfish desires so it's two and a half minutes in confession and repentance next section is asking um, this is a section I was mentioning or been thinking about I need to find the verse, I think it's in Matthew, where God asks us to ask that he is a good and loving father who wants to give graciously to his kids. And so I just wanted to be reminded of that before I get started because I hesitant, I hesitate to ask. I don't feel like I'm worthy of asking and that I don't, um, A, don't want to get my hopes disappointed when he doesn't answer. Um, and, but B, just know that he wants to show up in my specific asking. So I want to be specific in my asking and allow him to work within that. So asking is the next section. And then this last section for this part is for specific prayer or sorry, scripture prayer. And so what I've gotten from silence, Thanksgiving, adoration, confession, repentance, and asking is usually some sort of theme that weaves, weaves together. And if not, there's some sort of point that comes to the top. And with that, I'll keep that in mind and then either I know scripture so I can put that down or I know where it's at and I try to find it or I know that it exists and I'll just do a Google search or maybe I don't even know it exists and I'll do a full global, you know, verses on the Holy Spirit and then go through those and, and find ones that speak to that. I'm not typically a fan for topical type, just this verse, um, but it's been a big blessing to me. So I'm actually incorporating it and loving the way in which it showed up. I think this was the Galatians 5, 17 was what I got when I searched for the Holy Spirit. And it says, for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. So just really felt like that was so true for the day. Um, and just, you know, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So normally something in these, you know, my heart prayers, this scripture speaks directly to it. So really been a blessing there. This leads me to the next section. I just made these tabs from Simply Scrapbook Paper at Hobby Lobby. I traced these and uh, started this. So, and actually up until this point, this takes 15 minutes. So now we're on to the next section. This is going to be specific prayers for myself. And I guess I say specific, but more, more, more so mean 
general, I guess. They're going to stay the same. I'm not going to be updating them as frequently because there are always going to be things in, in that I'm praying for. Um, so really just my roles. First, my role as a daughter of God and, and what he calls me to, obedience, faithfulness, um, you know, being able to get into scripture and the word and being able to be prayerful every day. So like having that top of mind, just being praying for that first, then my role as a, a spouse and what he calls me in that role, my role as an employee, I work full time. So God's, that's what God's calling me to. And so I need to be obedient in the ways he calls me to that. And then the last section is miscellaneous, which is just kind of a catch all for those things that I am needing prayer for. And maybe it's they're mostly things I'm waiting on and, and waiting for God to reveal to me of what that looks like. And it really is just time that that takes. So spending time each day in prayer for those is good for my heart. The next section is my husband and he's going to, it's going to be pretty much the same. So his role as a Christian and a follower of God is going to be his role as a spouse and a husband, his role as an employee and then miscellaneous overall prayers that exist and just uh, need to be prayed for daily um, because they are, you know, it's easy to lose sight of what God has for us in those areas. So that's what we have there. Then we have these tabs, which I actually just added. So I haven't fully developed them, but if I keep them in, they'll put me at 32 and a half minutes. This one I'm thinking I had a prayer, 30 day prayer thing. Um, looks like it's called the prayer pop project that I purchased a while ago and it's uh, specific prayers for a certain person that you would pick for 30 days and so I'm thinking that's what I'll do and just write out those 30 areas um, actually as I was going through it I think it might be each week is on a certain topic I think mind and relationships and things like that so maybe for each week I'll have a different sheet just to, to go through and be mindful of the scripture and pray that over that person so I'm hoping to do that maybe if you have kids this could be a section for kids we don't have kids yet so uh, that's just what I'm hoping to accomplish with that I think I'll start that in May this next section I do have intimate prayers in there but they are um, urgent prayers and things that should be prayed for every day because of the urgency and the ways in which they um, just need prayer daily because of the condition of it then the last one is going to be uh, actually so that's kind of the end of that section this last one starts at the beginning of the next section which is really inspired directly from the book fervent um, I went through that book and just felt like how it's talking about the enemy has uh, and this is my prayer for my ten the enemy has ten strategies that he really uses against us to work against the against God in our lives and so I just felt like this is something daily I need to pray for and I'm hoping to actually put this together in some sort of printable on my blog um, I'm not sure how this prayer would be for other people I don't know if it's just more intimate and should work for me um, but I do think it's general enough it could be a blessing to others so hope to post that to be inspiring or helpful if need be um, if it's if it's helpful so um, thinking I'll do that and uh, it's just something that's been a huge blessing so far the words totally Holy Spirit led because they are very powerful to me um, as I go through it each day and it takes about two and a half minutes if I really soak on each word um, and just work through it in a way that's uh, thoughtful compared to just reading as fast as I can so okay so then this next section is actually I only do one a day so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I took the 10 that were in there and I combined them together to be simply, you know, two on each day and they're, they're paired up to some extent, which I think go together. Um, so the first one, first two, I should say, would be my passion and focus. And she references just our passion and focus towards prayer and towards God. Um, and then also just our passion in general and, and what God has for us. He designed us to... Um, you know, have a passion to reflect his glory, whatever that might look like specifically in each of our lives. So uh, I just maybe put a little note that while I'm sitting here and praying for that, it's come to mind in like a summary sentence. Um, so, you know, to have the courage and faith to pursue God through the path that includes my passion, um, which is to share the Lord to others. Um, and he's working out the details of what that looks like. Um, to be faithful and focused on the path God has for me, not getting distracted by the many trials that the enemy tempts us with. So just trying to pray against the enemy, um, but also just really focusing on God is that's first and foremost more important. Next, um, it's going to be uh, identity and confidence. 
um, again, just sitting before the Lord and either maybe this was a, a video I watched that said, show your scars to show you're not where you used to be and that Jesus kept his scars. He had the choice to not and he did. So we should be aware of our scars, but not, you know, they don't define us, but they exist to sh tell a story. So that was from something I watched. Um, the Zephaniah 319b was a scripture I got pointed to. I don't even know how, but it's, I'm in love with it. It says, I will change their shame into praise. Just thought that was so beautiful. Again, speaking truth into my identity and confidence and really just speaking against what the enemy is trying to do on a daily basis. Um, Wednesday, it was calling and then I combined the other one. She, it was one topic, rest and contentment. And I included that with calling, which maybe calling should go with focus and passion. But I also feel like calling works well with rest and contentment because God's calling us to something, but it consists of rest and contentment with where we're at. So I thought that was really important to pair together, especially with my tendencies to not be content and pursue. So I just thought that was really helpful for me to pair those together. It might make sense if someone does this a different way, but that's really where I led. I was listening to a teaching and so got some other ideas from there. Um, you know, comparison, comparison will always compromise the calling, that kind of stuff. So just being mindful of that when I'm sitting down and praying for my calling and rest and contentment on that day. This is heart and purity. Uh, just the enemy does not want us to feel like we are pure and that he does not want us to have healing in our heart. So I just felt like you know, God is the one over that. And actually yesterday it was uh, purifying is a process. The cross makes this possible. Redemption is part of the process of purifying uh, and actually read something about the olive oil. So maybe put something in right guarding that just there's a process um, and just really it's praying about that has revealed some other things to me that I have really been blessed by. So that's Thursday and then Friday um, is family and relationships. So this is just kind of global, you know, love with your love, powered by your love, sh you know, pouring into relationships and not shying away. I can tend to just be in my own world. So just to pursue people and relationships and family and things like that. So that was um, that section. So again, just one a day. Um, I'm actually seen in another blog, they use this uh, paper clip or use a paper clip and then stick it on the day that they're on. So maybe they'll compare you know, they'll move it from, sorry, uh, they'll move it from whatever day to the next one and work through. I know this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that works for me. If the paperclip works for you, that works as well. Okay. Now we're coming to the last section. This is going to be, uh, just two and a half minutes on one. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, similar. And this is going to be family. This is going to be Christian friends, non-Christian friends, the church and the world. So this is just an example of what I do. These are fairly intimate because they're about other people. So I have, you know, the name of the person as example, and then these hearts to show specific prayers. So maybe it's to find a job or if I have more specifics to find a, you know, be hired at blank or to be led to where they need to go, that type of thing. Um, or maybe it's a prayer that's, you know, more time sensitive where it says, you know, pray for their travels to whatever it is. And then I, there's an answer to prayer. If there's an answer to prayer, I'll put a check mark and then the date. And then back here, which I'll show in a minute, I'll have uh, where I can write that out. Um, I actually have always wanted to write something out and then leave space for answers to prayer, but it just doesn't work because I feel like I never have enough space or I have too much space and then it's just hard to manage. So I felt like this would give me an, a way to still just be reminded of all the prayers in one place. And then if, you know, we, if I work through all this and I need a new page, I can start over or I can, um, you know, cross this off and put it on another section and start over for that person. So I am just still working that out, but I feel like this is old actually. Um, I feel like that's what's been working best compared to trying to leave space. So just really example, that's really what I do for each day. So again, family for the first tab, this is going to be um, Christian friends, non-Christian friends, the church, and that's going to include missionaries and then the world um, and just having certain things in there. So that's really what I include in there. Just that way it's listed out specific things. That's the end of my morning session. Um, I have some other stuff in here. So if you want to bear with me, I'll go through those as well. Um, this is a uh, challenge. looks like from rachelwoojo.com. And she did a, it's for April, no fear Bible reading challenge. And so each day read a passage of scripture. And what I've done is just simply write the 
verse out of that passage. So I included the passage and then put the verse that really, which actually well, that was all of it, but maybe it's uh, just what really spoke to me for specific, um, you know, if this is one through six, really verse one through two was what the ones that spoke to fear specifically. Um, I'm not doing this daily, but sitting down and catching up when I can. Um, so that's really what I'm doing in there. So just extra for fun. And then this last section is still in the works. I just put it together yesterday. So we'll see where it ends up. But what I'm thinking is, or what God's revealing is that just being prayerful, prayerful throughout the day. So in the morning, I go through all of this 30 some minutes. And then in the evening, having a period of time to pray and be mindful of prayer as well. So I'm hoping to include this in this back part. This again, just scrapbook paper I included or got from Hobby Lobby. I'm thinking this section, again, haven't started, would be marriage and really our role together and our mission together and what God has for us. So whether it be specific prayers about that or um, you're writing something out that is a full prayer of what we can do on mission together. That's what I'm hoping to do there and just how God can use our marriage. This it is very miscellaneous to be determined. Thinking I might use it for my past or things that God's really continuing to work on in my life. Um, for example, 2016 is my word of year is contentment. So I think, or I don't know why I said that. My word for the year 2016 is consistency. So uh, maybe just having, uh, maybe it should be contentment. But <laughs> for them, what I've uh, been working on is consistency. So having that written down and maybe going under it over it on a daily basis in the evening might be helpful maybe it's another topic he has something that he's working on in me so we'll see where that ends up this section i've been doing it in different ways for a year this one is um really holy spirit holy spirit obedience so god uh after listening to the book uh forgotten god um by francis chan it was really just showing that you know god's will is obedience to the spirit so being able to sense or just be sensitive, I guess, more so than sense, but just being sensitive to the spirit to be led in direction. So if he's revealing something to me, I'll write that down and leave a couple spaces underneath. So maybe I'll write out what that specifically looks like or write out that once I do it, but just seeing over and over, just, you know, God's calling me to this and this is what I have done in obedience. So I feel that that's been a huge blessing in my life. I've done that a handful of ways, but look forward to filling up pages that show what that looks like. These ones, I love this page, just especially in the thought of fighting in war and prayer. Um, this is going to be specific prayers. So something that's very uh, time sensitive or answers in a very specific way. So while these are fairly general and overarching in some ways, these are going to be uh, the random example that pops into my head right now is um, our dog has some terrible skin issues that we've been trying to figure out a solution with and actually recently just found out that we think it's a flea allergy. Um, so if that's the case and we are able to get him healed and start getting towards the path of his, um, hair growing back, that would, you know, that would be God answering that prayer. So until then, I just want to continue to pray and, and pray for that. It's, you know, as simple as our pets, but God cares. And so while there's very, there's many other prayers that are, they're more, uh, I guess passionate, maybe, I don't know, uh, I don't know what the exact word is, but there's other prayers in here that are, that are definitely more intimate and important, but uh, God cares about it all. So just putting it all in there. And then last but not least, um, this is that answered prayer section. So where I have an answer to prayer, either to specific prayers or these overarching prayers. When I have an answer, they would write them in here. So I'm finding in the morning, I'm not having enough time to capture all of that. So this evening time would be a, a way to journal and be mindful of the actual answers that God's answering and that's other stuff but this is answer prayers since I just got started but uh, being able to write that out so writing first the prayer and if I have a date when the prayer started writing that prayer and then writing the answer and the date underneath so summarizing it in there is I would love to have page after page of just answered prayers to go, reflect on and go through in the future so that's the end of evening then it leads me to just blank pages that literally I'll fill in with. I have my fervent notes in here. I'll have just randomness. This was actually me crafting together what this beginning part looked like, trying to think of ways in which, you know, important things that I want to include and uh, things like that. So miscellaneous catch-all, like I mentioned, sometimes I'll have notes or other things that uh, God just wants me to tuck away for now and he'll work them out in other ways and have some other prayers for 
just high high level or um, going deeper into something maybe I'll make notes on that and who knows where it'll end up but just having it in a, in a place that I can go back to is that so that is it I hope that you uh, enjoyed and were able to get something from this um, and if you have any questions just let me know uh, this uh, has been, like I mentioned, a huge blessing in my life and just thankful for it. Thanks so much.